Hi guys! So I was recently sent this awesome vehicle with a couple of orcs by a company called Ramshackle Games. There's a link in the description so you can go and check them out and see more of what they do. So they've sent me this resin outrider for me to paint up and make a diorama with. So as you can see it comes in parts but it certainly looks like it's easy to build. So the parts look pretty cool, certainly plenty of detail in this. And then it's just a case of cutting away the parts from the sprues. Obviously these sprues are a little bit different from my normal kind of sprues, but these ones are pretty cool, as they can be used for weird terrain pieces. And once all the parts are out, we can just simply glue it together. As these are resin pieces, I'll have to use some super glue rather than the cement glue. So this Outrider has several different options for the top turret, but as you can see I've gone with lots of missiles. And there we go, I'm going to keep the two parts separate just to make it easier to paint them. And then we can move on to me making the base. So I'm using a thin piece of plywood, well I think it's plywood, it's definitely wood, and then this packing styrofoam, which I'm going to make into a muddy bank. So obviously this stuff is nice and easy to cut, but I'm going to cut it down to an angle so this vehicle looks like it's sliding down into some water. And then using the good old cheap grout, I'm going to just cover the whole of this base. As I want it to look like this is a muddy bank, I'm now just going to add in some tyre tracks. Again using the good old grout for this. There we go, I think that's come out pretty good. And now I'm just going to go over it all with some contrast brown. So my painting skills still are very primitive. But that's fine because I don't mind because I'm having fun and I do actually enjoy painting now which is really cool. So I primed the vehicle in red, as we all know red makes things go faster with orcs. So if you're into minifigures of all types and vehicles and some weapons then go and check out Ramshackle Games, the link is in the description. As the primer clearly isn't red enough as we want this vehicle to go super fast, I'm going to go over it again with some more red but then I'm going to add some rust and dirt effects afterwards. And if anyone comments on how these are painted, I'll just say my 8 year old son painted them. There we go, that's them pretty much painted now. And now I can get on to adding some water to this little diorama. So I'm going to use this plastic sheet just to make a little surround for this. And then I'm using this two part clear liquid resin, which I bought from Amazon. And these are mixed out on a ratio of two to one, 
So obviously I'm using the scales just to help get this more accurately. And then it gets a good old stir. And then I can pour it in. So this resin has a cured time of about 8 hours, which isn't too bad. Because I have used some that have been a lot longer. And it's a case of trying to prise off the surround. Sometimes it comes off nice and sometimes it just snaps off. And there we go, it doesn't look too bad. I do want to have a go at making some larger dioramas with liquid resin. So if you have any ideas of what I should make, let me know in the comments down below guys. So to make the wave and splash effects, I'm using this Liquitex. So this basically just gets dabbed on to where you need it. It kind of comes out like a thick cream, but then eventually will dry out and harden into a kind of a plastic. So using this expensive tool, I can just manipulate it into the shape I want, which is obviously to make it look like it's water that's been splashed up. Now I'm just going to dirty up or muddy up the tyres as obviously these should have been sliding down this muddy bank and shouldn't be this clean. And to finish off I'm just going to put the chequered pattern on the end of these missiles and the easiest way of doing this is using the fine marker. And there you go guys, one finished little orc diorama. So I hope you enjoyed this little build. Don't forget to go and check Ramshackle Games out, as they do a wide variety of figures and vehicles, which all look pretty amazing. Let me know in the comments guys what you want to see me make next, or if any of you guys want to do a collaboration with me of any kind or a build off, let me know that in the comments too. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video as well as all my other videos on this channel. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as I upload at least one video every week. A big thanks as always to all my patrons for helping support the channel. It really does mean so much. I can continue buying stuff to make things for this channel. It only costs one pound a month guys and you get access to behind the scenes pictures of what I'm currently working on before it comes on YouTube. So there's a link in the description for that as well. There are a couple more videos on the screen if you want to go and click on those to see more of what I do. And as always guys, thanks for being there and watching. But that's it. Bye for now.